Hello, my name is Ignacio Barrios. I am the chef here in Urban Kitchen. Uh, Urban Kitchen is a, a, a kitchen where we do uh, cooking classes and cooking experiences. Um, so what we're going to prepare today is a uh, lomo saltado. Okay? If you're familiar with Peruvian food, you are going to uh, maybe have, you have maybe heard about ceviche, maybe about tiradito, causa, and probably about lomo saltado. Lomo saltado is uh, one of the iconic dishes of what we call comida criolla. Criollo is how we represent that fusion uh, that happened in our history. Um, here, this fusion is uh, entirely Chinese and Peruvian. You know, the, the, the multicultural background that we have in Peru is something unbelievable. And that paired with the biodiversity that this country has makes our gastronomy be something quite unique. Um, so that's why I'm going to be making lomo saltado, which is a very traditional dish, but with some personal touches. You know? For example, the first personal touch that we're going to make in the lomo saltado is uh, to make a different style of potatoes. Normally, lomo saltado is served is a beef dish, I served with rice and fries, French fries. Okay, but Peru is a country of potatoes. You know? we have been eating potatoes in Peru for more than seven thousand years. We have more than three thousand types of native Peruvian potatoes. The World Institute of Potatoes is located here in Peru. Uh, a few miles away from where we are located right now. You know? So why not honor our potatoes? This is a type 1234, no, that's, I'm just kidding. This is a type called Guairo, okay? And Guairo is one of my favorite type of potatoes. It's great when you fry them, but I'm gonna pan fry them with olive oil and butter. So I'm gonna make something maybe uh, with a little bit more uh, flavor than a traditional uh, fry. Okay, I'm gonna cut, this is a type of potato which is very buttery, a uh, lot of starch. If you overcook it, it crumbles away. No? Extra virgin olive oil also from Peru. This is from Tacna, which is a city in the south of Peru, almost getting into Chile, okay? Region where we um, grow things like olives and grapes. No? I'm gonna put my potatoes there really good quality extra virgin olive oil, salt. If you're Peruvian and watching this, don't, don't curse please, don't insult my mother, okay? Um, I'm just doing something different for the sake of doing something different. We are very proud of our food, that's why I'm making this uh, disclosure. You know? And I'm gonna add some butter, okay? Real butter as well, good quality, unsalted butter, so I added the salt uh, as well. And I'm gonna leave it there. And I'm gonna make sort of a golden brown type of potato. I'm not gonna comfy it, but it's gonna be there, going, going, getting into there. So the star of the dish is the beef. Okay. In this case, as I'm gonna do a stir fry, and I want it to be um, soft and tender, I'm using fillet of beef. Okay, which is probably the uh, one of the most expensive cuts of beef, but you can use any other that's gonna work well by quickly cooking it, okay? You want something tender, you don't want something with a lot of sinews or a lot of uh, fat. The intramuscular fat is good, but then the outside fat that sometimes is a little bit chewy, that's the one that we don't want, okay? I uh, have it here outside, so it starts to temper a little bit. I don't want it to be really cold before I put it into the pan, okay? Then the other ingredients I'm gonna use. First, I'm gonna use here uh, onions, okay? I'm gonna use red onions and I'm gonna chop them in a, a like a wedges, no, like a thick, uh, let's say sort of like a julienne, no, but thick piece. Okay, so I'm gonna put it here. Ready? There. I'm gonna separate them so they cook evenly, and then I will have pieces that are raw and other pieces that are uh, overcooked. Okay, almost the same size. Ready? Then I'm gonna cut my chili peppers, okay? Peru and chili peppers are something that we need to be, um, you need to know that in Peru we use chili pepper for almost everything, but we don't want to, to burn no one, okay? Uh, we give a lot of flavor with, uh, with chili peppers, but it's not something that we only want to give hotness behind it, okay? So I'm gonna add them here. This is a, a chili pepper called Aji Amarillo, one of the most popular ones and we need to cut it this 
Okay, fine strips. Excellent. Ready. I'm gonna put them inside. Ah. I have the tomatoes here like in wedges. I'm just gonna get the, the top part out. So I'm gonna have this and I'm gonna also separate them and have them here. A little bit of spring onions as well. If you have cilantro, you can add a little bit of cilantro as well, but you can combine the two or use only one of those ingredients. Okay? I think that's gonna be enough. Perfecto. I'm gonna leave these guys around. Then I'm gonna use them for something else later. Okay, and last but not least, my beef. No, as I said, I'm using fillets. I think that for one serving, this is enough. Okay, and then you gonna cut it in nice cubes. I like it medium rare, so I'm gonna leave it not too not too small, so I can then give a bit of texture to it. Okay, that's good. Ha! Perfect. So that's it. I'm gonna also put it in a bowl. And now, before I start with the enormous saltado, I need to check on my potatoes because if the potatoes are not ready, well, they are not. I need to put a little bit high heat and just keep on giving them a nice golden brown color. Okay. While I wait, I'm gonna start making the sauce. No? You're gonna see a Chinese influence on this dish behind two things. One, the method. No, it's a stir fry. Okay, we need heat. We're gonna do that later, and then the flavor. You know? We have incorporated potatoes, which is very Peruvian, chili peppers, which is very Peruvian. We are using rice as well, which is very Asian. You no, know? but then the sauce. You know, the flavor comes behind. Soy sauce, vinegar, and oyster sauce. Okay, you can also use garlic, ginger, anything you want to make this dish. This is such a popular dish here in Peru that there are probably thousands of different recipes because everyone does them in their own way. Okay, so I have it ready and this because it is a stir fry, I need to have all the ingredients ready to go before I start. Okay, so while my potatoes are cooking, I'm gonna start also heating up my pan for the stir fry. The potatoes are already getting some color, they are very nice. I'm gonna see it later. Uy, uy, uy. Aha. Muy bien, ¿eh? muy, muy bien. Doing good. So, the beef, salt, a little bit of pepper, and if you like it, tiny bit of cumin. If you don't like it, no worries, don't put it. Move it so it seasons nicely. This is something very, very, very important, okay? Really, really high heat, okay? really high heat. Uh, in Asian cooking, you know, the wok is used, right? The wok is made for stir fries, for cooking quickly, for using not too much fuel, you know? Um, but it gets really, really hot. That's why the addition that you need to make very quickly. So I'm gonna heat this up as much as I can, okay? Don't be nervous. No, heat it up. I want smoke coming out of it. Okay, I want smoke coming out of it. So be careful. Okay. Then, when this is oof, really hot, oil, vegetable oil. Okay, we need vegetable oil because this is really hot. So I want this to uh, get as hot as I can. If I use a natural oil, it's gonna burn before it gets to a temperature I want. It's not bad to cook with natural oils. It's entirely good, but not this hot, okay? So the first ingredient that we're gonna put inside is the beef, okay? There, very gently, very careful. I'm gonna let it sear. Don't rush, it's just nice caramelized color from one side. You can start turning them a little bit, okay? I don't want to give color in all the sides because if I start to move them and I take too long, they are gonna overcook, okay? So now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use my 
blowtorch. If you have a gas stove, you don't need a blowtorch. And I'm gonna give a little bit of fire. Ah, and that part is the flavor that I want. Okay, now I'm gonna add my onions and chili peppers. I don't want any more fire. I'm fine with the amount of fire that I did. Okay, I'm good. Before the meat goes way overcooked, I'm gonna add the sauce. Mm -hmm. Always clean your kitchen, please. If you have some time, it's important to keep your kitchen and stations clean. Uh -huh. This goes. Wash your hands. Now that the liquid is reducing, tomatoes. And I am almost ready to serve. Okay. I want for the liquid to reduce and for the beef to be at the point of your liking. Okay. If you are going to make long saltado, not for one person, but for four, you can do the meat first, you take it out, the vegetables then, you take it out, the sauce at the end, and when everything is ready, you can put everything back in the pan and just mix it. Okay. But if you are making only one and you can be quick and you have a good kitchen, this is a powerful one, you can make this like that. So in seconds, Ronald is going to bring me the plate with rice and the potatoes. Okay, the potatoes are cooking in the other kitchen, they're going to be golden brown, and then we're going to put it here, and then I'm going to add the meat, I'm going to add the spring onions, I'm going to serve that, and you are going to want to eat one of these dishes straight away. I'm ready, right? Yeah? I'm ready. Okay, half of the spring onions go right now, so I mix them a little bit. I'm going to turn this off. This is good, the plate is coming. I have a spoon. Now I see that over there, that looks amazing, huh? It looks really good. Mm. Ah, look at this, huh? White rice seasoned with salt and a little bit of garlic golden brown potatoes with a little flavor behind butter and extra virgin oil oil. and now my lomo saltado crispy onions crispy chili peppers fillet of beef tenderloin tomatoes and that sauce that is really 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 good so i'm there always important Sauce. The best part is a piece of potato. You squash it a little bit with the juice of the lomo saltado. And just a tiny bit of spring onions on top. And that's it. Lomo saltado. Traditional Peruvian dish with a twist the way we like it. If you want to experience how to do it, you come to Lima, you come to our kitchen and we'll make it together with many other things that we can make together. Thank you very much.